usually when I give uh, a teaching or talk or lecture uh, among the Buddhist, traditional Buddhist, uh, especially among the younger generation, the very first question I ask is, are you a Buddhist? And the answer is always yes. My second question is, why are you a Buddhist? And the answer I get is always the wrong answer. And that is, because my parents are Buddhist, because my grandparents are Buddhist, therefore I am a Buddhist. That is the completely wrong address uh, uh, and, uh, answer. So I always give the question, okay, so let's say your parents were thieves. Does that make you a thief? Let's say your grandparents and your parents were thieves. Are you a thief also? They get offended by that. And they say, no, of course not. I'm a good person. So therefore, when you ask a uh, non-traditional Buddhist, or non, uh, you know, uh, non-traditional, uh, a non-Buddhist background, people who have adapted Buddhism as their religion or as their philosophy, they give the right answer. You ask, are you a Buddhist? Yes, I'm a Buddhist. Why are you a Buddhist? Because I take refuge in the three jewels, in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, which is the right, which is the right answer. So there's a very clear sign that uh, the Russians or non-Buddhist background who have adapted Buddhism give the right answer. And why is that? Because they've explored, they've studied, they've learned, and after full investigation, and after full conviction, they adapted Buddhism. And that is the right approach versus saying, uh, the, versus the traditional Buddhists saying that I'm a Buddhist because my parents are. And they make it sound as it is something genetic, which is not. And I always look at the uh, traditional Buddhists and say, look, there's something wrong here. We consider ourselves traditional Buddhists and we make a big deal about it, but we don't know anything about it. Where these people who are visitors, who have no uh, you know, relatives in, of Buddhist, but they give the right answer, and they know more, they studied more, they investigated, they, they've done further research for them to give the right answer is to us is embarrassing. And people, when they see that interaction, that we brief interaction that we had, people realize and they say, yes, Shajin Lama is right. We have to uh, study and learn a little bit more about what belongs to us, what is part of our identity, what is part of our, our culture, our identity, and this is what makes us Buddhism. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is what makes us a Kalmuk or a Buryat or a Tuvin. So therefore, I must learn more. So therefore, they uh, take a very keen interest. Of course, we organize lectures and uh, uh, different programs, seminars, workshops. And we're always inviting uh, Buddhist scholars from different backgrounds. Even you have visited uh, Kalmykia. Robert Thurman has visited. Uh, Priya Darshi has visited, Dr. Barry Kerzin, as well as many other Gishis and Tulkus, uh, Kundaling Rinpoche, Chado Rinpoche, Chibzindamba Rinpoche. You know, so we're always inviting different Buddhist scholars from different backgrounds. So people have a choice of the different styles, different methods, and different, uh, different approaches.